Live. What's up, family? If it's your first time checking out the show, let me know what city, what state you're coming in from. If you're outside of the U.S., let me know what country you represent. Family, I need you to smash up the likes, smash up the likes, smash up the likes. Also, if you have not done so already on YouTube, there's a little bell next to your subscribe button. Go ahead and click that thing right now so you can get your notifications each time I drop a new video like this. That way you'll be in the loop. I'll let a few hundred of y'all come in, then I'm going in. But in the meantime and in between time, I'll give some shout outs to the early birds. Tay Randall, Dallas is up in this piece. Charles E. Jones, Washington, D.C. Belinda, what's up, Belinda? Strawberry Rain, that's right. Smash up the likes. Rockford, Illinois is in the building. What up? What's up, St. Louis? <clears throat> T.C. Wade? B.B. Rock, what's good? X-Man, H-Town. I see Jamaica, all day Lincoln Morris. Stockton, California. Larry Hampton is in the building. Lachey, what's up Lachey? What is that, Brandy Nuance? Brandy, what's up, Brandy? Cara Fields, Charlotte, North Carolina, Mountain Kitty. We are simulcasting with Facebook and YouTube. So uh, if you have not uh, followed the channel or subscribed to the channel, to the YouTube channel and your own Facebook, go ahead and uh, go to Willie D Live and, and subscribe or you can just click that link in the description it should be a link in the description uh so that you can uh, follow the channel also the uh conversations that i have with uh various public figures and celebrities have been moved from this channel from the willie d live channel to willie d live conversations on youtube so you want to make sure you follow that. There is a link in the description for that, I know for a fact. Uh, going in, fam, going in. So uh, Vlad and uh, Mark Curry, Mark Curry, who was an artist on Bad Boy, was on the Pierce Morgan show. Uh, and uh, hold on a second, fam. They were on the, the uh, Pierce, Pierce uh, Morgan show. And um, Mark, you know, Mark had a lot to say about uh, about Diddy, saying that Diddy was uh, uh, not, not really talented. On a scale of one to 10, he said that Diddy talent ranked the sixth. And, um, but when I heard him say that, I'm like, a six? Nah. So uh, Vlad spoke. Uh, Piers asked Vlad what he thought about uh, Mark's words. And Vlad went on to say that, you know, I disagree. Uh, Diddy took a guy uh, in Biggie Smalls. He took an underground rapper, an underground rapper with a sleepy eye and who was overweight, I'm paraphrasing, and made him a star. And he did that with several other artists. He did that with several other artists and even producers. So no matter what Diddy is going through, <laughs> you know, you can't take that away from him. I mean, he did that, you know? He did that. You can't take that away from him. That's like somebody trying to take away uh, R. Kelly talent, trying to say R. Kelly ain't one of the best to ever do it. No matter what he's going through on a personal level, uh, his work is undeniable. Uh, those songs that R. Kelly did, indisputable. Uh, 
toe to toe with anybody in the game. He can go toe to toe and live and in concert. Man, I was in an R. Kelly concert once and I'm watching them really, really close. I'm on the stage. I'm like actually on the stage on the side. And I'm I'm looking and I'm watching and I'm I'm trying to see if there's any tricks. Is he using any kind of tricks? Any kind of mic tricks, any kind of uh tricks with the sound engineer. I'm watching real closely. Now, nah, fam, that dude was going like he was live and in color. I mean, he was Kelly was is the truth live. No lip sync. And I sound just like the record. I don't know a lot of artists who can do that. Sweating and everything, tired and everything, and still belting those uh, lyrics out. Like, like he was in the studio, killing it. So you can't deny his impact. You can't deny his talent. Quincy Jones, a lot of a lot of people say uh, uh, Diddy didn't uh, produce the songs. He got other people to produce the songs, and he did this and that or whatever. Uh, even if Diddy didn't physically touch some of those songs, like didn't physically push buttons or whatever, whatever. If he orchestrated it, if he brought, which is what he did, if he brought people in and said, okay. Play this right here. Take this out. Put this in. You sing on the hook right here, Fake. I need Fake going to sing on the hook. Okay. Uh, uh, Lil C's, jump in here, man, and, and, and put a verse right here. Uh, such, 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 put a hook right here. Uh, you know what? That song going to be for Biggie. Oh, that song right there going to be for Lil' Kim. That's going to be for Mary J. Blige. Uh, Jodeci going to work with this one right here. This, this is for Joe. This is a song for Jodeci. That's producing. Uh, somebody, and then as, as the head of Bad Boy Records, somebody had to make the final decisions when it came to releasing records. What's going to be released as a single? Somebody had that final say, and that was Diddy. After Biggie died, they put out that song. I don't know if it's called Missing You, but it's the Sting Sample that every breath you take, that song, that song was right on the money. Uh, Puff had a new album coming out. Nobody had heard from him for a while. He had kind of got dipped it, dipped, got a little low. Uh, he was being very measured in, 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 in speaking publicly. And then next thing you know, that song dropped. Boom. That thing dropped like an atomic bomb and it shot straight to the top to be able to say, okay, we need that song. We need that, that song a tribute to Biggie. That song that's going to make everybody stop and pay attention. We need a song that embodies what everybody's really feeling about the loss. To be able to make that call, to get that particular sample beat, put faith on the hook, and have, even to have it styled the way it was styled. Come on, fam. That takes talent. Ain't no anybody can do it. If anybody can do it, why they ain't done it uh, yet? Why, why, why hasn't anybody else done it? Anybody can't do that. So that takes talent. So I don't get uh, when when people uh, uh, try to, you know, discredit people, you know, when their talent is 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 obvious um, and their contributions is obvious. Now I don't know what went down with Mark and, and Diddy, but you know. I think if Mark was just really, really, just really being honest, I think he maybe he just misspoke or something. Maybe he was just on one today or something. He's just like whatever, whatever. But I think if he was just really being honest, I think he would he would say that, yeah, uh, Diddy, he's a talented dude, very talented dude. 
I'm cool with calling a strike a strike and a ball a ball. I'm cool with giving people uh, their flowers. If they got whatever talent, I'm cool with recognizing that. Uh, people that know me know that I ain't no Mac Michael Jordan fan. But I would not hesitate to say that Michael Jordan is one of the greatest basketball players to ever play the game. There ain't no denying his talent. And I'm not going to allow my emotions to dictate my, my assessment of him as a basketball player. I'm not going to do that. Go into the comments. Raina, what's up, Raina Johnson? B.B. Rock say his contribution to the culture is dope. Dealing with the people, not on point. Mike Nice, salute. Matt Rick said, talented at what though? When we ever did Diddy sitting behind a board? Have we have you ever seen Quincy Jones sitting behind a board? Sitting, sitting behind a board don't make you a producer. Do you understand what the definition of a producer is? The producer brings the elements of the song together. The producer says, play this, play that. You play this, you play that. Sing right here. No, 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 no. Take that out. Put this in. That's producing. You ain't got to push one button. That's producing. That's what Quincy Jones has done for 50 something years. That's producing. You know Quincy Jones, right? The guy who produced Thriller. That's producing. Just bullish. Uh, Steven Sclater says, talent doesn't and should never supersede anyone's perversions against other humans. Uh, did anybody say that? Anybody say that his talent excuses him of uh, perversions against other humans? Anybody say that? Because I know I did. I know I didn't. I, I, I'll never make excuse for a person that uh, uh, that violates uh, 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 you know stalks and uh, sexually assault people. I, I'm not. I don't get on like that. What I'm speaking on is the the notion out there that some people have that claim that Diddy uh, don't really have any talent. That's what I'm speaking on. See, I'm not, when I speak on this stuff, fam, I'm not going to just speak like one way. Like, I'm not going to just say what you want me to say. I'm not doing that. I don't do no pandering. I'm, I'm you know, I, I, I like to analyze all sides. I like to, you know, utilize critical thinking, not just be, not just go around having this, this uh, cognitive dissonance type of mentality. You know, I like to see things from different angles. I think you can be, get a better understanding if you open your mind and see things from different angles. You ain't got to agree with it. It's just that you're recognizing that there perhaps is another side to the coin. Or there's another side to the argument, to the argument. Two things can be true at the same time. Who is that? Damon, Damon Flem, Damon Flem. Appreciate you, Damon. Yeah. Two things can be true at the same time. Like, 
Jordan could be one of the greatest basketball players in the world and be an a-hole. Right? You can have somebody out there who's just an average basketball player but have great character because being a good basketball player don't mean you automatically is a good person. But we can acknowledge both, right? Somebody just mentioned Woody, Woody Allen, vinyl, uh, what was that, vinyl select, selectors or something like that. Just mentioned uh, Woody Allen. Woody Allen got a pass. Now, I ain't trying to give out no pass. I'm not trying to give out a pass. Woody Allen, oh, man, he, 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 he's done some very despicable things. And you're right. They gave him a, they gave him a pass. I don't, I'm not even sure if he ever did any, any time in jail or anything. But Woody Allen had a penchant for messing with underage kids. But you can't deny Woody Allen was talented. Can't deny he was a good film producer. Yeah, you say I didn't like how he dropped that after Biggie died, but I understood. Yeah, you. What 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 was he supposed to do? You're in the music industry. If somebody die, life goes on, just like if you wasn't in the music industry. If one of your family members pass, God forbid. Life goes on. Do you just lay low, lay low and, 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 and wallow in sorrow? Or do you get back out there and try to get something going? You got to get back to work, man. You got to get back to it. Life goes on. He make music. He got a label to run. If you're putting out music, you have your biggest star murdered and you're putting out music, the people want to hear you address it. I wanted to hear it. I thought the song was great. I thought it was a brilliant idea. I thought it was great. So I wanted to hear it. I wanted to hear what he had to say. And everything was in pocket. The lyrics were in pocket. They were heartfelt. Uh, they came, at least they came off as heartfelt. I liked the song. I thought it was a great song. And I guess, the people thought it was a great song, too, because I believe it's his biggest song to date. Song like sold millions of copies. Crypto Chaz says he turned the rap culture into a shopping mall fashion culture. Uh, now, I ain't going to argue with you about that. I'm not going to argue with you about that. In fact, I would go as far as to say that it was that era of hip hop that is responsible for some of these statements I be hearing, some of these women make about $30 not being enough for lunch. Like, where they do that at? Like, family. Uh, if you go to my Instagram page, it's Willie D Live. I posted this video of these girls. In fact, grown women. Proudly proclaiming that $30 for lunch 
is beneath them. Like a man, I'm talking about this ain't their money because I'm sure they eat uh, for less than $30 on the regular. But since it's a guy sending them some money, he needs to send them at least $100. Absolutely incredible. Uh, and I want, I'm, I'll want i come back to that, but right now I want to uh, take a quick poll. Who out there believes, I mean, take your emotions out. Who out there believe that Diddy has talent? Thumbs up if you believe he has talent. Thumbs down if you believe he doesn't have talent. Let me see. Let me, let me see if I'm crazy, if I'm losing my mind or something, you know. Let me, let me see if they redefine what talent is. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Jay Delaney, thumbs. Who is that? Joe Delaney, thumbs up. Boro, uh, is that Barrow? Up, great blackness up, Brandy Nuance up, Avon Mack up, Billy Williams up, Kobe Goaded up, Plain Jane down, S. McDay down, McDay down, Damon Flim up, Desiree Hodge up, Occam's up, Machiavelli up. DJ Pablo up. Chuck Town up. Young Black Wall Street up. The Keisha up. Avon up. Sandra up. Is that Lunum? Uh, is that Lunum? Alonum, Lonum down. Yeah, ye up, CJ up, Bianca Thomas down, BB Rock up, Vinyl up, Amy up. Okay, so most people tend to agree that Diddy do have talent. You know, that's really one of those polls that was I don't think even is necessary. I mean, it's like to me, it's just such such something that's just obvious. And we want to really talk about people with no talent. Let's talk about people with no talent, like a lot of these people who own these reality shows. That's no talent. When when all when you getting paid to be loud and boisterous, anybody can be loud and boisterous. Anybody can be rude and disrespectful. So it's a lot of people out here calling themselves influencers and celebrities and all this type of stuff, and their whole hustle is to be disrespectful. Anybody, anybody can be disrespectful. That ain't no talent. A talent is something that a, a few people can do. Just being loud and disrespectful, rude, that ain't no talent. Also, Puffy can dance. We ain't talked about that. He can dance. He's a style icon. We ain't talked about that. You, that it takes a certain type of talent to have, to be able to visualize, to be a visionary in, in style. Everybody ain't that good. Everybody can't say that. We all have a style, but all of us ain't stylish. Bars, I need to write that down. I need to write that down. We all have a style, but all of us are not stylish.
Mike Brown, what up? What's up, Sister Soul? Yeah, he says, Diddy made um, Biggie a sex symbol. What y'all gonna do if, 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 if Diddy don't get arrested? What y'all gonna say then? Let me tell you something. If the feds got something on you, you better believe they are gonna put the cuffs on. You're not getting out of their crosshairs. If they got something on you, they are gonna put the cuffs on. So what if the feds go through all of that stuff and they don't find anything incriminating. Are y'all going to like, for those of you who uh, came for Puff, y'all going to uh, apologize? You're going to apologize or you're going to say, oh, no, nah, they, they just didn't look hard enough. On a personal note, it just don't look good. The feds don't, they don't do all of that. They don't do all of that without getting a return on their investment. Like they don't do all of that. So don't look good. Don't look good at all. Okay, Young Black Wall Street said Diddy is being set up. How many people out there think Diddy is being set up? Thumbs up if you believe he's being set up. Thumbs down if you say, nah, man, they got the right man. Let me see where y'all at with that. Young Black Wall Street say he's being set up. What's up, Stacy R? Cleveland, Cleveland. Crack a cold case down. Don't believe that he's being set up. Matt Ricks don't believe he's being set up. Down. SMH up. Joe Delaney down. C Dola down. I mean, up, up, up. Avon Mack up. Sandra Alexander, down. No name intended. Undecided. Aquarius Moon, down. Dara Spencer, down. King Butch, down. Raina up. Twin Hype, down. Yeah, Yee, down. Sis, down. So it looks like most of y'all believe that the feds got their man. Most of y'all believe they got the right man.
Uncut. What up? What's up, Clarence Brown? Danielle Swan. What it do? Adam Phillips said, guilty, but also set up and sacrificed. Guilty, set up, and sacrificed. Well, all of that could be true at the same time. Matt Ricks. And here's the thing, fam. No matter how it go, y'all can get ready for a fight because Diddy going to fight. He got type of paper where he can buy the best lawyers, the absolute best lawyers. He can buy the best experts. And he's going to spend whatever amount of money he got to to avoid those cuffs. Well, I don't know how well he's going to be. Able to, no, no, I don't think no amount of money is going to be able to help him avoid the cuffs, but I do believe that he's going to spend that bread. And if he ends up in a trial, I just don't, I don't think he'll be found guilty. But what say you, fam? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, I appreciate y'all joining the live. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, your morning, your afternoon, your evening, wherever you are in the world. Until next time, fam, no more talk.